Hey makers, this is Truveen and we all know that Microsoft Ignite has been started. Yesterday, some of the announcement has been done from Power Apps and Power Automate side. During this episode, I am going to talk about some important announcement that has been done on that first day of Ignite for Power Apps. So let's get started. Also, one more important thing. If you wanted to have the announcement summary for other office products like SharePoint, Microsoft List, Microsoft Viva, Power Automate, Power Virtual Agents and Power BI, I will create a separate video for each announcement for Ignite. Always check the description box for the latest information and the latest playlist for Microsoft Ignite announcement. Also, for up-to-date information, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and Twitter account. You will get the latest information from there every day. So without wasting much time, let's get started and talk about important Power Apps announcement in Microsoft Ignite at day one. The very first announcement that has been happened in Ignite is around Power Apps licensing. Microsoft has introduced a new license to pay for Power Apps. This new license is called as Pay As You Go. This is like a postpaid licensing. We need to pay only for what we are using for. And we need to pay after the usage of the Power App. Now, let's deep dive into it. Earlier, we have only two licensing models which are based on the subscriptions. The earlier licensing plan were per app plan and per user plan. Now the new way of licensing that is being introduced is pay as you go plan. Now for which organization it is based for? Let's see. Let's say for an example you have a large organization and you want the agility to pay only when a user run the app during a monthly period. At the time you can choose this pay as you go plan. Definitely, in future, I will prepare a separate entire video to describe pay-as-you-go licensing plan and how it is based for. But let's just focus with some of the example. Let's say this is one of the power apps and this is the setting option. And from here, we can enable pay-as-you-go billing. This pay-as-you-go billing is something which is based on the current Azure subscription that you have. Basically, you need to pay using Power Apps and Dataverse via Azure Meter. So these are two different meters that has been introduced in the Azure and you can view the billing detail as well in the Azure portal. How the portal will look like and how the configuration thing will be done, we will prepare a separate video for that particular thing. But let's just see that how the cost for this Power Apps is being calculated. So let's say for an example, consider one example that you have one power app and that power app is shared with 100 user. Now consider any single month. Now from those 100 user, only 20 user has access that power app throughout that particular month. Meaning active user for that particular power app are 20. You only need to pay for a subscription of 20 user. You don't need to pay for rest of the 80 users. That is one thing. Another thing is that user can access the same app or portal multiple times but it is counted only once. So let's say any user clicked on the power apps once in a month means that user need to pay for that particular month. Also users with the power apps per user licenses are not calculated into this particular calculation and the total charges will be calculated are whatever the amount of dollar into monthly active user so let's say this is beneficial like in june let's say i have shared one power apps with 100 users only 20 user access that so they need to pay only for 20 user let's say in month two only couple of users have access so you need to pay only for those users and you need to pay that after the usage of the month you don't need to purchase any licenses in advance so that is one thing now the question arises in your mind that if the dataverse is being used how that thing is to be calculated 
So with this plan, one gigs of database and one gigs of file capacity is included in pay as you go enabled environment. Now, as the data grows, you need to scale up and you need to pay additional charges for the same. That calculation is also something which is uh, another part of discussion. So this is the first look of the new licensing strategy introduced in this Ignite. This is something which is in preview at this moment and you can try it by your own. Let's move towards the second announcement that has been done around standalone and native mobile apps for power apps. This is something which will be coming into upcoming December. So this is one of the coolest functionality that is going to be rolled out in upcoming month. This new functionality enable makers to package a canvas app as standalone native Android or iOS app for corporate and end user. Now let's see what do we mean by this. So earlier what happened here is if we wanted to run any power app, we need the power app player in to be installed into our mobile device. Now this new functionality is something which allow user to install this power app as a standalone or native power apps into Android or iOS device. Let's say for an example, you have a Contoso organization and you have a couple of apps developed in for your organization. Now you need the native kind of user interface, then it provides you the functionality to create an app with the low code which allow you to have this type of home screen, splash screen for the Android, sign in page and the canvas launcher and all the canvas app that are bounded to that launcher. So this is something which is really cool. Now you have a separate icon on the home screen of your mobile devices and when you click on that you will have all the separate screen over here. Now you can embed the multiple app as well. So let's say for your organization you have developed couple of app and you just need a hub navigation type of thing like whenever the user will open the app all the app will be displayed over there and whenever I click on appropriate app appropriate app should be open so this type of thing should be also possible with this new update and at last distribution of your app is also going to be happen natively so with this great new feature, PowerApp is truly becoming mobile application development platform stuff with the new capability like low-code mobile app creation, seamless end-to-end -end branding, embed multiple canvas app, distribution of your app in a native manner and enterprise governance with iTunes. So this is something which is really cool and really excites me and I'm really waiting for this new feature to be available as a preview in next month. Now let's move towards the third announcement that has been happened in Ignite which is collaborating while building the app. Now makers can collaborate with mention and comment with the modern app designers which is in Power Apps. You can also do commenting and collaborating with the Power Automate as well as in Power Virtual Agents. So this is something which is already available as a preview and you can explore it now. The fourth important announcement that has been happened around PowerFX. Now, PowerFX is available as an open source code at GitHub. Microsoft is consistently improving the same experience across the Power Platform for PowerFX. Meaning, the same code or same formula that you are using for Canvas app which will work for your model driven commanding and the similar experience will work in your Dataverse formula. So this is consistent across the platform. Also, Microsoft is planning to have the similar PowerFX formula for Power Automate, Power Virtual Agent and Power Apps everywhere the same code. But this is something which will be coming into next trade map. But at this moment, it has the consistency among Canvas App, Model Driven Commanding and Dataverse formula. Now, let's move towards the fifth announcement that has been happened around Power Platform support for code spaces. Now this is the exciting news for the pro developers. Power Platform command line is now available as a code space extension and we can install easily in the Visual Studio Code environment which helps the developers to work on Power Platform from anywhere or any device. So this is one of the coolest announcement. The sixth important announcement that has been happened is around Windows system for Linux support. If 
Visual Studio Code installed in WS enabled, then you can use the Power Platform integration in Linux devices as well. Seventh important announcement that has been happened is around Microsoft Power Platform connector creation from Azure API management. Microsoft has introduced the new landing page in the Azure API management to allow developers to build and distribute Power Platform connector in just few clicks. We will prepare a detailed video later, but this is the cool announcement that has been happened for the custom connector. The eighth important announcement that has been happened around Microsoft Access Connector for Power Platform. This is one of the most requested capability from the Access user. They wanted to have the ability to bring up the Access data and data entry onto a mobile device. Now, with the new Microsoft Access Connector, user can easily bring the data to Dataverse and build the mobile friendly app on top of that. So this is another cool announcement. So these are the important announcements that has been happened in Ignite at day one. Stay tuned with me for the another cool announcement around Power Automate, Power BI, Power Virtual Agents, Teams, SharePoint and Dataverse. I will cover up those in my upcoming next videos. If you have any question, you can add your question in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel. If you are looking for any consultancy, you can visit this website and you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Here is also the podcast channel which you can visit. And this is the another separate channel which is dedicated for Hindi content and short content on Power Platform. You can subscribe that channel as well. With this, this is Dhruvin signing off. See you in the next session with some amazing content. Till then, have a great day. Goodbye.